Is Windows Mixed Reality dead? Of course not. Today we're going to review the HP Reverb, the second generation Windows Mixed Reality headset from, well, HP. Now I'm going to tell you why it's so good and what's the deal with Mixed Reality. Is anyone actually buying these things? Stay tuned. All right, before we get started, let's talk about mixed reality. Who are actually buying these things? We heard a lot about it around two years ago, and since then, Microsoft has been updating the experience through Windows 10. We've also seen a couple of upgrades, including Samsung have updated their Odyssey headset, which was one of the best Windows mixed reality headsets you could buy at that time. Now, HP is back with the reverb, and we'll talk about that in a second. But I actually asked HP when it first announced this device in a meeting with them, I was like, are people buying these things? The answer is actually very interesting. As it turns out, it's a lot of commercial use for it right now. That is, a lot of job experience and training is being used with Windows Mixed Reality. In fact, I got to experience an OSHA demo where you put on the headset and you walk through a factory and you try to find safety violations. As it turns out, using Mixed Reality has a better retention, around 75% compared to, say, watching a video or reading a book, which is only around five or 10%. Another area where they're using mixed reality is in hospitals with patient therapy for pain and opioid addiction. As it turns out, mixed reality is pretty good at tricking the brain, which is something you need to do for patients to get their minds off of their current issues. Finally, another use of these mixed reality headsets is going to be for entertainment purposes. That is where companies have events ready to put on mixed reality to experience something. Think of Disneyland and parks. Now, besides all that, of course, there are the prosumers, the gamers out there who are really enjoying, say, Steam VR and some of the games on Windows Mixed Reality in the store themselves. As it turns out, HP is selling enough of these headsets to make a second version. It's not selling gangbusters, but it's enough to completely redo the existing HP headset, which I have here in front of me. This is a pretty okay headset, had pretty good resolution at the time, but as you can see, it looked a little corny. This, however, is the Reverb. Now, it's actually more expensive. It's around $600. That includes the controllers, and that's about $150 more than the original version, but there's a lot more new stuff going on here. First of all, the resolution has improved. Before, it was 1440 by 1440 per eye. It is now 2160 by 2160 per eye. Let me tell you, it makes a huge difference. It's at a 90 hertz refresh, so everything looks really good. They also changed the lenses here. If you ever tried a Windows Mixed Reality headset, typically the lenses are circles, and there's a sweet spot where everything is focused, where everything else kind of blurs out, and it doesn't look as sharp. They've kind of fixed that with this version here. These lenses are more square, and they more match around what your eye actually sees. As a result, almost everything is now in focus, and it looks just way better. When you combine it with that resolution and refresh rate, well, it's a really good experience. They also now have headphones built into there before you had to put headphones on. If you're already putting a headset on your head and then putting headphones on top of it, it could be a little bit cumbersome, but now they're built in. But if you don't like these headphones, and they are really good actually, you can just pop them off and use your own. There's also a microphone and Bluetooth built in now. Now Bluetooth is really interesting as you can use the controllers, they pair instantly. You don't need to do a separate process now. Out of the box, they're basically paired with this headset. There are a few downsides too though, or at least things you need to keep in mind if you're looking to get this headset. For one, you need a display port connector. Previously, you needed HDMI. This uses DisplayPort 1.3, and it comes with an adapter in the box, so you can use a mini DisplayPort. So, for instance, I use this on the Razer Blade 15, and it worked beautifully on there. The reason you need DisplayPort, that higher resolution and that bandwidth is needed to get all the information there to the headset, to the PC. The other thing is you'll probably need an improved GPU. HP is recommending a GTX 1080, which is kind of a big deal for a GPU, but if you use that combined with the resolution, well, you'll get a really good experience. Now, when it comes to the headset itself, I can honestly say this is really, really comfortable. Much like HoloLens 2, HP worked really closely with their own engineers and Microsoft a bit too to make this one of the most comfortable headsets. The new head strap is just really nice and you can kind of wear this thing for hours. You still have that heavy cable on you, which is a little bit unfortunate, but overall, I really enjoyed wearing this. It's only around 500 grams, which compared to the previous version was 813 grams. So they shaved off a lot of weight on it. And I think we'd also agree, it does look a lot better. All right, let's bring it all in here, the HP Reverb Mixed Reality headset, yay or nay. If you're into mixed reality, if you're into virtual reality, if you're into playing Steam VR games like that Beat Sabers one, this is a pretty awesome headset. I can say I have all the mixed reality headsets on the market, including the brand new Samsung one. 
this one is the best one to get. So if you're gonna commit yourself to mixed and virtual reality, this is probably gonna be the headset to get. While it's still a little bit expensive, you do get the controllers, the cables, and everything in the box. It's still cheaper, or at least comparable to HTC Vive and what Oculus is doing. The experience here is gonna be really good and gives you the most flexibility. Personally, what I like to see though is a Oculus Go-like device where I can take Windows Mixed Reality and walk around. I've used some of the portable Oculus devices before. It's a really neat experience. Having that cable on you can be limiting and a little bit cumbersome, but going free without that will be interesting. Now, whether Microsoft can do that, I'm not so sure. Overall though, the HP Reverb is a pretty solid mixed reality headset. I'm pretty excited to see HP committing themselves to this. There's also a professional version out there for an extra $50, which has a removable and replaceable face mask for use in commercial environments, which goes to tell you just how popular this stuff is getting. But still, I think we're a few years out before this stuff goes completely mainstream, but evidently it's doing well enough for HP to make this brand new headset, and I'm glad they did. All right, so that is it for this quick look at the HP Reverb and Windows Mixed Reality. Now, if you have any questions about it, go to the description below. We'll have more information about this headset there. But you tell me in comments, what do you wanna see with Mixed Reality? Do you think this stuff is still too early and what will it take for it to actually be a success? Let me know. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, take care everyone.